dear students, uh, me talking to you, I'm called Niro Antoinette. I'm a trainer from Sedor Hwang Chilezi, Tivet School. My telephone number is 07 83 uh, I'm here to be with you in uh, a session. Uh, we have to start with a new model that is called providing reception services. Uh, as the module code indicates, I'm uh, going to be with students of level four, tourism. Even if uh, level five also can be well interested and they can gain, and level three also can have an advantage of having uh, uh, the knowledge about how to provide reception services. Uh, let's go to the objectives of our new module. Uh, after this session, dear students, we have to be able to define who is a receptionist. The module is going to illustrate who is he or she. Secondly, we have to be able to make a tidy working area an order is as well as necessary for the receptionist to work well. Uh, the third element is to differentiate receptionists, reception supervisors' responsibilities, and the reception managers' responsibilities too. The fourth element is how to prepare arrival guests in advance. Uh, and the fifth one is to identify the front desk equipment. These are the main objectives. Let's go back to the title. For us to well understand the module, we have to be able to clarify, to illustrate, and to be able to be knowledgeable about what does the topic mean. Uh, providing reception services. It is made by three vocabularies or words. Uh -huh. The first one is providing. What do you understand by providing? Providing is, uh, in a, a normal way, is, it means to give. And in this model, providing is like undertake, handling. Then reception, it is an area, it is an working area. We will see it in the next uh, slides. Then services, summarizes all duties that the clerk or receptionist has to handle or to go through. Let's proceed. <clears throat> we start with the learning unit one, which is entitled prepare for customer arrival, preparation, mm, to be ready in advance. Then for customer, we know who is a customer, a guest, someone who comes to us. Arrival, who reached, already comes to our destinations. Let's see our first learning outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, the title says, prepare a reception area for service and check all necessary equipment prior to use. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to prepare in advance before guests or uh, clients reach to us. This will help us not to be in disorder. We'll be quiet and ready to receive our guests. Uh -huh. Reception. Reception is also known as the front desk. The desk or office where visitors arriving in a hotel or a large organization go first. Ah, someone may be uh, thinking that reception is the only for the hotel. No, it's also used to define the large organization's department at which you go first before you go to other services or departments. That is the reception. Uh, by that, we may say that a reception has, has the hotel ha, has a reception, the bank has a reception, an hospital has a reception, and other several organizations as we know. So uh, 
tasks at receptions are likely to be similar and different according to the type of organization from which you are working from. So let's have the definition of receptionist. Receptionist is an employee taking an office or administrative support position. It's a person, it's a personal working from the front department at which people go to ask for career information, for direction, uh, for other necessary services before they go through other services. Let's go to the next. Mm -hmm. What are the main staff at the reception or at the front desk? They include the reception manager or front desk manager. Yeah, you may ask why there's an, it is necessary to have a manager. Because <laughs> here the answer is, that, is this. The reception has sub-departments. So they may have a manager to coordinate all those sub-departments. The second one is the reception supervisor or front desk supervisor. Uh -huh. That one also works in hand with the manager by controlling the rest of the staff at the, the reception. The reception is not a uh, one cabinet from there. There are other sub-departments due to the inquiries that the guest may arise. So the, fair, the father worker is senior receptionist and receptionist or reception clerks, agencies. They are, they may be more than one person. They are receptionists. They work from different uh, cabinets and they are assigned different tasks. All of these are the main workers at the front desk uh, department or area. In general, the front desk controlled by the front desk manager has the different duties. The duty of the front desk manager is to achieve the maximum revenue and the highest level of room occupancy possible. What does this mean? Oh, the main role of receptionists is to sell out rooms if it is, it is the work at the hotel. The, moin, the main role of the receptionist is to sell out looms. That is the main responsibility of the receptionist when working at the hotel. Maybe someone working from the hospital reception has other responsibilities. Someone working from the bank reception has other responsibilities, but once you work from the hotel as a receptionist or a clerk, the main responsibility of yours is to sell out looms. So the manager has to check if uh, he is maximizing possible revenue in selling looms. Mm -hmm. Secondary, the responsibility of reception manager is to monitor and motivate their staff and maintain high profile with the guest. What, what do we mean by high profile? The image that the guest carry or nurse. Uh -huh. This is summarized in how to deliver our services. How the guest has considered our services, quality services. Uh, that is what we mean by high profile with the guest. Next is, it helps to ensure that a quality service is being given by the front office department in particular and the hotel in general. Since at the reception, we show the image of the hotel. It is from there that we may increase the good side of our hotel. So if we provide a bad image from the reception, the rest of the institution cannot be satisfying the guest. So from the front desk, we have to deliver a qualified service. Let's see the next. 
the next. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are the responsibilities of the front desk supervisor? Mm -hmm. To guarantee the smooth running of the front desk, to see if all activities from that area are going as we wish, are well being uh, provided. Mm -hmm. Then they organize the, the duty rota. What do we mean by the word rota? Rotating. How to offer services, um, duties to our staff. This one today is working from here. This one is occupied in this. This one, that is a rota. Who is going to work next after this one? Who is coming next after this one? It is the work of the supervisor to know who, how the shifts are going to be given and followed. Mm -hmm. The third duty is to handle complaints or difficulties or difficult customers which a receptionist may not be able to deal with. Yeah, it may come to you as a receptionist to have difficult customers or to have complaining customers or to have uh, other kind of inquiries. If it is not your ability or your capability to handle that, you report it to the supervisor. So the supervisor have, has to be able to handle such kind of complaints that have been difficult to you as a receptionist. Uh -huh. It may be from the services that has not satisfied the, him or outside inquiries. So if it is within that department of reception, the supervisor has to help the receptionist to handle such kind of inquiries. The fourth element is the duty of the front desk supervisor is to notify and the greeting of important guests. Yeah, we have VIPs. We receive VIPs. The manager has to be this, the manager or the supervisor have to be there to help receptionists to welcome such kind of VIPs. It is in order to respect. Yeah. Uh, uh, VIPs people have to be welcomed with by high also uh, qualified um, staff like supervisor, like a manager of the hotel in order to respect. Yeah, they need, they deserve to be respected. <laughs> Let's go to the next. Mm -hmm. Dear students, we also have to know our responsibilities as the solution, but also to be able to identify our higher supervisor's responsibilities. Now you have the uh, responsibilities of senior receptionists. What are they? Let's see. Mm -hmm. First one, the senior receptionist is in charge of each shift of the staff. Yeah, within your staff, you have to know uh, According to your, uh, you may discuss among you, why do I have to occupy with this shift? Why this one has to work at this shift? And then you convene within you. So the senior man, the sponsor, the, sorry, the senior receptionist has to help you about the shift distinction. Like, uh, the second role is the responsibilities of senior uh, reception, receptionist is to assign rooms to, sorry, to guests. Yeah, you as a receptionist, you assign rooms, but he has to come to you to advise. Yes, this one you made, according to the reservation that guests have made, you have to, uh, to assign rooms to your guest, but the senior receptionist is the one who has knowledge about the distribution of looms. They may be a group of visitors. It's up to you to distribute looms. Yeah, if it is a reservation from one guest, he has to choose by his own. But if, if it is a group or reservation, there are maybe a number of 100 passengers, you may uh, locate looms. So the senior receptionist 
has to help you as a receptionist. The third role is to deal with group arrivals. As you were talking about, group arrivals are not as easy to handle since you have to respect all of what they are asking for. Mm -hmm. So group arrivals, like in 10, like in 20, like in 40 uh, passengers, it is not as easy as you think. So you have to be able to allocate rooms to these people and to satisfy their need, even if they are in groups, because you are going to receive something from them. And they have to be happy. They have to carry a good image of your own. Mm -hmm. The next law is to handle guest immediate problems or queries. Uh -huh. There's queries or immediate problems may come from uh, uh, someone not satisfied by the given room, uh, not well working TV from the room, uh, not well working shower from room, uh, all that, that take too much time and so on. So it is up to the senior receptionist to handle such inquiries. Since we know that the receptionist stays in the cabinet, in the desk without going out, you have to call upon the senior receptionist to help you and go through for satisfying guests. We are there to satisfy guest inquiries, guest needs. Let's see the next. Mm -hmm. Now we come to our uh, responsibilities as receptionists. Clerk. Clerk also means receptionist. You work from the reception. What are our responsibilities? Let's see the first. Prepare for the guest arrival. Prepare for the guest arrival. In the beginning, I told you we have to be well prepared before people reach to us. There are several advantages from that, like not being in trouble for seeing people you have not prepared for, not uh, calling out for help, or not making the client to wait for a long. So this will help you to be uh, peacefully waiting for your guest, preparing for the guest arrival. It also includes the preparation of all documents will be in need, like guest registration, like uh, uh, checking the working condition of your printer, of your scanner, or other means you will be uh, in need for satisfying or for receiving the client. Mm -hmm. The second is to greet the guest when they arrive. We have to greet. It shows that you were waiting for them and that you are professional. And while you're greeting, you have to smile. Uh, a smile at the face shows that you are happy to receive them. Mm -hmm. It shows the mood in which you are when you are coming for your client. You have to check the guest into the hotel, to check in the guest. There are documents needed, mm -hmm. as we know. Registration form, uh, asking him or her for uh, documents in order to keep well his profile. The fourth law is to assign suitable rooms and check the guest method of payment. You have to ask. Uh, you have to be with a POS machine or they pay any cash or liquidity. So you have to check how will he or she pay the mode of payment. Then you assign suitable rooms as he has made a reservation or he's working. You also have to give a suitable room of his or her comfort. Number five is they keep a record of the status of each room in the hotel. Mm, as we focus on the reception at the hotel, as a receptionist, you have to be aware of the room status, not, not giving out a room that is out of order or that is dirty or that is not in a, a working condition. It is your responsibility as a receptionist to have the uh, status of your rooms before you assign a room to someone. Uh, we have pre-arrival. 
What do we mean by pre-arrival? Pre-arrival guests. Pre-arrival preparation. Pre-arrival order before the customer reaches to us. Types of activities done prior by the receptionist before, before, sorry, before customer arrive. Mm -hmm. You have to prepare the work. Preparation of work is an important task and planning the saved time during your actual work. The client may say, I'm coming next month. Next month, you have to put, to note down such date. You ask for a date, for a day, for the arriving time, and so on. So that if you are not going to be there at that time, but the, one, the next receptionist working after you will be able to receive as you are there. So you have to prepare the work in advance. Preparation of work is an important task, and planning the same time during your you save during the actual time, at the time you are there, in order not to forget. Prepare for your guest arrival. Next, mm -hmm. preparation of the work is the first thing to do. Second, preparation of the area, working environment, so that you are tied at that moment of the arrival of your guest. You have to make all things in order before the guest reaches to you. Mm -hmm. Secondary, all machines and equipment are turned on, uh -huh. are on working order and have adequate suppliers, paper, ink on hand with you, not calling out for help or to bring to you some uh, staffs. Preparation of work area also needs to have adequate supplies of hotel, brochures, other sources of information, relevant forms, and documentation. Yeah. Uh, the printer can help you to print out registration form, uh, print out the bill, and other documents. Uh, the telephone uh, can help you to contact with other departments. Uh, the rocker can help you to keep the uh, all keys from the rooms and so on. You have to be with you uh, all documents necessary for you to handle well the task. So, other example of document is the registration cards and pens that have to be uh, there. In in case guests have to register by themselves you may give them pens without waiting one after one. Up to the minute information relevant to the day's activities, example, arrival and departure, risks, room status, etc., are available. All are the documents you need to have at the reception in order to be able to explain to your guests at their arrival. Guests may come without having sufficient information about your hotel or about uh, rooms to allocate or to choose. But once you have such documents to inform them, it will be easier for you to receive them. Here is a summary of documents or equipment that are necessary and important from the front desk. A standard range of equipment may, might include computers and printers. Of course, you will always need a computer and a printer, computer to, to be able to make a, a report, to register your guest electronically, to communicate uh, internal or external, and then the printer, you will be in need for a, a given document, so it will be able to print out Photoco photocopia for taking the guest document photocopy. It is also important for you to keep in uh, his or her folio. Credit card machine. Some nowadays most guests are not paying in hands. They use cards, so the credit card machines help us. Then type of writers for you to write down something. The stamp for legal documents where they river. Uh, then scanner, 
you may be sending some uh, documents electronically, it will be important for you to scan, then POS machine for payment too, and the stationaries for keeping all your uh, documents. These are important documents or equipment that will be in need at the reception. Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling Westlink In. This is a reservation office. May I speaking? How may I help you? Um, I'm Josephine from Canada and I'm going to the Philippines and I want a reservation in your hotel. How many are you in the park? Part of the group are conventional. Uh, uh, um, no. When you arrive, how many nights do you plan to stay? I'll be there on March 25 for three nights. Would you care to reserve a deluxe room, ma'am? Um, yes, please. Okay, ma'am. Wait for a while, ma'am. I'll check the date if the room is available for you. Yes, ma'am, Rosario. The room is available at that place. Would you like to get a, a special request, such as non-smoking area room, ma'am? I like that. I want my room is located at the corner of, of 20th floor. May I have your spelling of your first and last name? Um, my first name is Josephine, J-O-S-E-P-H-I-N-E, -E, and my last name is Roseo, R-O-S-E-O. Um, Roseo, may I have your home address and your telephone number? Ontario, Canada, and my my number is zero nine four six four six eight three three one two. I expect to be there eight o'clock. So be there after six p.m. You might wish to make a current reservation with your credit card. To ensure the room will be held after 6 p.m. cancellation hour, would you might wish to make a guaranteed reservation, Ms. Rosario? Yes, do you take a master card? Yes, we do. May I have your card number and expiration date? The credit card number is 123456789090. It will expire on 12.15. Fine, your guaranteed reservation is confirmed for the last room, non smoking area room, located at 24, arriving on March 25 in the evening, departing on March 28 in the, in the morning. My name is Mildred, and your confirmation number is 12345670. We will send you a letter that you should present it to the front desk when you arrive. Mom, any question regarding your reservation? Have a nice day. Good afternoon, ma'am. Welcome to Best Hotel. Would you mind okay. Thank you for your time? This way to our contest. This is our guest. Where would you want me to put your life? Good evening, ma'am. Welcome to the best of the world. How may I help you? Read the reservation in your hotel. Can I have your spelling, your first and your last name? The first name is Josephine, J-O-S-E-P-H-I-N-E. And my last name is Rosario, R-O-S-E-O. We have guaranteed reservation for the Lux Room, located at corner at 20th floor, for the smoking area room. Arriving is March 25 in the evening, and the departure is March 28 in the morning. That's it. Can you please fill up registration form, ma'am? Okay. Here. Here's your copy of registration form and also your key card. Enjoy staying here, ma'am. Thank you. Please assist our guest to her room. Good evening, Ms. Roseo. I'm RJ Raigat, your bellman for today, and I'll be the one who assisting you to your room. 
Would you like me to wear your luggage? Yes, please, here. This way, ma'am, to our elevator. Is your first time to visit here in the Philippines, ma'am? Um, no. Actually, it's my second time to visit here. Um, I hope you are not busy to enjoy staying here. Um, yes, I will. Ma'am, do you like the ambience here? Yes, of course. Now we're here in the 20th floor. Your room will be located at the corner of at the corridor. Ma'am, you can use our gym in the pool or you can visit our cafeteria if you like. Also our restaurant at the left side of the hotel. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, your room so one would you mind me to open the door for you yes please um, may i have your key card here thank you come to open your door just simply swipe your key card like this then press the button and the door will open automatically please come in now if you are here any question or request um you can call us or you can call to the front office um do you have anything else we got it there no i think it's already done Thank you. Um, would you mind me to, to close the door when I leave? Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure, ma'am. Have a nice day. Okay. Hello, is the room service department? Yes. I'm Josephine from room 201. I would like to order my breakfast. Yes. Yes. Um, I would like scrambled egg, fried rice, and ham and cheese, and a cup of water, water and coffee. Yes. Uh, this charge is in my room. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Room service, I'm looking for Josephine Roseo. Speaking. Good morning, ma'am. Here's your order. May I come in? Please come in. Where do you want me to put your meal? Just put in my table. You may sign the house receipt. Okay. Here. Ma'am, here's your copy of, of analysis. Mm -hmm. When do you want me to come back to clean your side dishes? I just called you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You may leave. Thank you. Here's your 
excuse your guest call you, ma'am. Thank you very much for staying here. Okay. Have a nice day. Good morning, ma'am. Would you want me to carry your luggage? Yes, please. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for staying with us. I think you have learned something, dear students. Then, for teaching that, uh, let's go back to the objectives you have assigned to us. Mm -hmm. We said that at the end of the module, we'll be able to do this. Are you now able? Tell me. <laughs> yeah. This was about the transaction or uh, receptionist services. But there's another important thing I have to tell you. The receptionist, to be able to give out all the services, there are three important things, like uh, uh, your mood. Mm -hmm. You have to be in a good mood to be able to give a good service. Second, working environment. You have to be with all necessary equipment and documents to help you. And then third, you have to be knowledgeable in foreign languages because all your guests are not coming from the local areas. So let's go back to the mood, working mood of yours. When you, you are receiving guests, you have to be in a, a good image, like a smiling face. Don't be frustrated when receiving guests. This is not uh, advised. Please be smiling. It, is, it will show your customers that you are ready and uh, enthusiastic to receive them. Mm -hmm. uh, being uh, smiling also goes with the grooming. Yeah, some receptioni receptionists are uh, appearing in uh, a costume due to the need of the managers or the hotel capabilities. Uh, from cultural sites they used to wear related to culture, from uh, starting institution they be in white and black, from other areas they relate to the culture, it differ from uh, area to areas. But you have to well appear so that the first impression of your guest is well conceived. Then the working area, as we said before, you have to be in a good uh, area, well cleaned and uh, enough space, enough air, and uh, all materials you are, being, you are in need have to be there. Because if you miss one, you will start calling out and showing bad impression all that you are in trouble. So better you prepare in advance all necessaries you are in need before you start the work. It is up to you to check. Then lastly, uh, a good collaboration with your uh, colleagues at work also will help you to handle a good reception services. And lastly, knowledgeable of foreign languages. Dear student, please, during this lockdown period, I encourage you to read books, to be able to acquire uh, more vocabularies that will help you if you really wish to work as a receptionist. Uh, then from these objectives, I ask you if you have uh, remain with some, and if we have achieved, I think now you are able to define who is a receptionist. I think you can make uh, an, a working environment as tidy as possible. I think you can differentiate your duty as a receptionist, the supervisor's activities, and the manager's activities. Yes? Thank you. Then, dear student, next is a short video on how to provide reception services. Thank you.